So we're discussing $15 headlamps that are purchased and able to be found at Walmart. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Welcome to this episode here at Gideon's Tactical. I'm your host, Aaron, and I'm excited to do this launch and kind of kick off to a series that will probably be going for maybe many years, depending on you know where things go with the channel, of, uh, of videos and concepts of stuff that you can find at Walmart. You know, here at the channel, most of the stuff that you see here, we recommend going and purchasing over on Amazon. That's always the best, not only price usually, but also a great way to help support the channel or, you know, specialty websites, Blade HQ, uh, you know, Knife Center, Knife Works, uh, the Knife Connection. I mean, all those type of places, if we're doing knives, you know, firearms, different things like that. Uh, we usually have sp certain areas that we, you know, encourage you to go look at because not only is it going to save you the most money, but it also helps us get out here and do what we do. But I want to start a series of videos where we talk about what happens when either you're on a job site, you're a construction worker, and maybe a piece of gear totally fails on you on the job site, and there's a Walmart down the block, and you know you need to pick up maybe, say, like a headlamp, a flashlight, maybe it's a piece of uh, equipment, you know, whatever it may be, or you're on the way to a campsite, you're on a camping trip, maybe you're, you know, doing uh, a couple months of maybe overlanding or, you know, uh, riding around, seeing the country in a trailer, whatever it is, and you don't necessarily have the ability to order online and have something ship to you, you need it now, you need it today, and you need to go to a Walmart, because Walmarts are almost everywhere here in the U.S., then this is the kind of the concept behind this video series. And so what I did was, I thought to myself, all right, what happens if I have $15 to spend, I'm on a really tight budget, and I forgot a headlamp, a headlamp broke on me, I'm a construction worker, I'm a camper, I'm a backpacker, I'm an outdoorsman, and I just need to run to the nearest Walmart and pick up a headlamp, and I can only spend 15 bucks. So recently, myself and the crew, we decided to go do a multi-day car camping trip over in Utah and see all of its wonder, and I thought that this would be a great way to test these headlamps. So I went to Walmart with 15 dollars for each headlamp, looked at a bunch of different designs and features and capabilities of multiple different brands, and came across the two that I thought would be the best to put head to head and see which one was really top dog. And I purchased the Bushnell Trekker H 150L headlamp and an Energizer HD series headlamp, each running about $14.95. And I'll tell you that I was super shocked that one of these two headlamps has a fatal flaw that I'm going to show with you right away to help you turn away from something that may not be the best purchase for you. And for $15, what's the best option out there for a headlamp at Walmart? So let's go ahead, start breaking these two headlamps down and seeing which one had a catastrophic failure twice with two models that I purchased at Walmart and which one seems to be the one that's working the best for us, not only through the trip that we had, but just overall testing and capability. So really sad to have to share this news with you. I have now purchased two separate of these Bushnell headlamps and they're causing the exact same problem over and over again. So um, what I really liked about this was the idea that there was a large aperture on this. Uh, it had you know a red, it had an ultraviolet light, it only uses two batteries, lots of um, adjustability here, really nice. I liked all that. And again, the $15 price point. The problem is if it gets below about, 35 to 40 degrees, the button does not actuate. I am pushing it down and it should hold the, the light, but it is not doing that. It just flashes and will not do it. I just took this out of the refrigerator because what was happening when we went on our Moab trip and used this, uh, the first night worked fine, but as the temperature dropped, as it, the night went on, I turned it off and turned it back on and this started to happen. I was like, what the heck is going on? Had to work with it, played with it, and finally figured out what the issue was that I thought it was a temperature related thing because when it was back up to normal during the day, I wouldn't have this problem. The light would work absolutely fine. It would work good in the store, it'd work in my car. And then uh, I would, I'd have this issue. So I took it back, bought another one, and the exact same thing is happening again. So I cannot recommend this Bushnell. It is temperature sensitive. So if it gets below, I would say 40 degrees, this thing is not gonna function properly. Again, the red and uh, ultraviolet buttons seem to work just fine, but the main actuator for the main light does not work. Very sad that it does not. And that's why we do the, our aggressive testing here, guys. So the Bushnell, I thought would be the winner with all the options, capabilities. It seems very durable. All the rest of it seems to function very well. Obviously, just something very wrong with that button and temperature related. So uh, the Energizer is the winner. Now, uh, I'm not actually super impressed with this Energizer compared to what else is on the market. But when you walk into Walmart and you have less than $20 to spend, this is from what I have seen the best 
capability, options, and power. So you're gonna get your strap like always. You know, they have a couple different colors. Uh, this is the Energizer HD series. This has a maximum output of 200 lumens. That will be with the first push of the button. You have three bulbs running all simultaneously, giving you a very wide swath. You can easily see a campsite, do all kinds of stuff. Again, at 200 lumens, and that's gonna run for six hours off of three AAA powered batteries. That was another thing that made me gravitate to the Bushnell. It was a two battery powered, um, but uh, the three still, doable and a lot of other headlamps in this kind of size range will usually use three AAA powered batteries. Now if you cycle through here then you'll go down to two bulbs being used and if you cycle through a third time only one bulb will be used obviously lower lumens longer battery life that's just the way it works and then there is a nice setting where if you'll turn it on and then hold the power button it will it will dim itself and then brighten itself back up so that's another great way if you want to use that floodlight feature with all three bulbs running at the same time you just hold down the button and you can kind of get to a percentage that you are happy with and then it'll work that way there are no red lights um, for you to, to use on this particular headlamp so it's just the headlamp feature but for construction workers you know most campsites that type of thing i rarely use red but it's you know a nice feature to have easily able to take off of your uh, strap here the one other thing i'm not a super big fan of is there's only two adjustment points and you feel like you're going to break the headlamp every time you do it you have to push really hard there's a really uh, obnoxious snap and then it holds down at probably about a 45 degree angle right there. Now it's not gonna move or you know dis disconnect. Uh, I mean, it, it's solid in that location or you do it again and it's straight down at your feet, but that's all the adjustment that you're gonna get. Whereas with the Bushnell and a lot of other ones out there, there was multiple you know adjustment points that you could pick from. And it's just really um, abrupt. You know, It's like, I really gotta flex it and boom, then it'll snap into place. And that's about the normal adjustment you're gonna use there. So uh, it's doable. This, this I don't see being something that you would use for like three, four years uh, because of just the thin plastics, that really um, abrupt snap. And, but for you know getting you through a, a work week, you know going on a camping trip and you lost your headlamp, um, that type of thing, I think for $15, this is gonna be the best bet that you're gonna find at most Walmarts. Well, folks, there you have it. I hope this quick video has helped you out when you're in a pinch and you need a headlamp and you got 15 bucks to spend, you got to run over to Walmart. What's the best option out there? Again, I believe it's the Energizer HD uh, version that they offer. There's lots of different ones. We're gonna, we got lots of different ideas coming down the line with this Walmart series that we're gonna be doing. Some fixed blades, pocket knives, other types of gear that when you're in a pinch and you got to run over to Walmart, what's the best stuff to spend your hard-earned money on? And that's what we always want to try and do here is help you guys out so that you know how to best spend that money that you guys work so hard uh, for. So thank you so much. I hope this video has helped you out. As always, check us out on all the relevant social media. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Any questions you have, I'll answer in the comments below. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. See you out there.